Today I'm going to be replacing the thermostats on my Mercury 135 Black Max engine. So we're going to get started right now. Thermostats are located right here. Got one on each side, each cylinder head on this V6. So I need to remove these half inch bolts. So I'm going to go ahead and just cut this plastic zip tie, holding the hose on and get that hose out of the way so I can access it. All right, well, it takes a, either a half inch or 13 millimeter. And a good tip on how to know if you're dealing with a metric bolt or a standard bolt is you look at the head of the bolt. And as you can see, this has just the lines in it, similar to this bolt. That means it's a standard thread bolt. Now, if we were to look at this and it just had numbers on there, like a 10 or something like that, then that means it would be a metric bolt. So that is a standard. So half inch would be the correct size. So we'll go ahead and remove those. And then I'm gonna need to get a wrench to remove the uh, inner bolt because it's kind of obstructed there by our coolant elbow. Okay, there we go. Now it looks like we don't have a thermostat. So now we'll take the other one off, see what's going on on that side. All right. And no thermostat on this side either. So, so what it looks like it actually has is some washers in place of where the thermostat should be. And uh, what it should have is the thermostat and the gasket. Now I, I ordered these parts online with the uh, serial number of the engine so I can make sure that I ordered the correct parts and I've got um, Mercury parts, Quicksilver parts, so original replacement parts for it. And uh, I wanna put this together back like it should be. Now, a little history on this boat. I bought it on Facebook Marketplace and uh, I didn't know any of the maintenance or repair history of the boat or the motor. And uh, frankly, the guy that I bought it from, I don't think he knew it either. So. Uh, I have run into a number of things on this engine that weren't right as far as some of the adjustments and some other things. And uh, so I'm just kind of doing this as a preventive maintenance because I didn't know how old the thermostats were, what the condition they were in. And of course I found the condition that they're not any. So I guess if you've got that, uh, that washer with the hole, you don't have to worry about the thermostats um, getting stuck closed, but they're gonna be open all the time so it's not going to allow the engine to to warm up like it should and uh, i like to put things together um, as best i can the way that they were intended to run so i'm going to install the uh, thermostats like it should have and go from there now the gaskets the thermostats came separately with no gasket and i ordered a gasket kit that comes with two gaskets and it's got a little um, basically a little area here that uh, we need to get the uh, thermostat 
installed, a little groove. All right. So now you see we've got that gasket installed. And then, of course, it needs to go into the, uh, into the housing cover. And I did take a razor scraper and scrape off some of the old sealant. They had some RTV sealant on there that I scraped off and I scraped ahead as well. And I also took a little uh, emery cloth and then just kind of finished cleaning it up. So, I will go ahead and get this installed. Bolt's a little sticky. There's a little bit of corrosion. I think this engine had done a little time running in the salt water down at the Texas coast, most likely. All right, so now we've got that one installed. And also on the other side, it goes the same way. I have uh, pre-cleaned the area, like used a razor scraper, scraped off the old uh, gasket maker, and then uh, used a little emery cloth to uh, just to kind of smooth off the surface, smooth up the surface. And then grab that other thermostat, and I went ahead and pre-installed the gasket on this one. And just as an interesting note, it's got the number of degrees stamped on the bottom. This is a 147 degree thermostat. So as you can see, it's closed now, but uh, when it heats up to 147 degrees, it will open. And in the service manual, if you look at how to test these, it can show that you can take them out of your motor and then you can put them in, of course, water in a pan on the stove with a thermostat and heat up the water and watch the thermostat and see if they open at the temperature that they're supposed to. And thermostats, it doesn't matter if it's in your car, truck, what it is, they all operate the same way. When they get heated up, they'll open, but they are at different temperatures. All right, so now we're gonna put the thermostat in the other side. As you can see, the groove in the housing that it fits in there, and then the rubber washer fits just slightly above that. So when we bolt this down and clamp it, um, that is gonna be the sealing surface for that. And then you wanna be careful not to cross thread the bolts. These heads are uh, aluminum and uh, it can be easier to cross thread aluminum than steel. So you just want to make sure that you can start them by hand before you put a wrench on them and start cranking. And I like to sometimes run them down quite a few turns there with your hand. Make sure that you're Have it mounted correctly. And then go back and tighten it up. All right, now I'm just gonna put the hose back on and I'm just gonna use a little dielectric grease here that just helps everything slide back together. And I like to use a little bit of uh, that dielectric grease 
silicone paste, uh, putting things together. A lot of times you're putting in rubber components and it just kind of helps things gently slide together and it helps to keep from, uh, you know, ripping and tearing things when you're assembling them. Now we'll go ahead and uh, put some new zip ties on there. That completes the thermostat install. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.